credit crunch or not, most of us will be fighting the crowds this Christmas on the trail of presents and festive fun. But of course all this provides perfect opportunities for the Christmas criminals as well. I've been talking to some crime prevention professionals to get their advice. First of all, I met Chief Inspector Matthew Foley, who's Head of Police Operations in London's West End. One common problem is around cash points, when uh, people go to cash points. One of the tactics of thieves is to say, oh, you've dropped £10. And so the person at the cash point takes a step back, looks down at the ground to see if they've dropped £10. As that happens, an accomplice um, will take the cash point card uh, as it comes out of the machine. And then they've got that. They may also have been able to see the number when it was being tapped in. So don't be distracted at cash points is a strong message that we'd like to give out. So what about um, you know, safety of your personal property when you're out in a busy shopping centre? Well, the, the real answer is awareness, knowing where your property is, making sure that it's secure. In crowded places, pickpockets may strike, so you need to make sure that property is in, in tightly in pockets or in, in a sealed bag, don't leave bags open so that people can get to purses or uh, other property. Um, the, the other thing uh, uh, is about moments of distraction when you need to put your bag down, perhaps to try on a pair of shoes in a shop. Um, th those moments are, are vulnerable moments when a thief may strike. With money tight, many of us will be going online to find cheap Christmas deals. This can work well, but it doesn't come risk-free. I spoke to Gareth Griffith from Get Safe Online to find ways of shopping securely in the virtual marketplace. The basic information is on Get Safe Online, but it's having antivirus installed, the latest antivirus, and set to regular updates, having a firewall, having anti-spyware, having the latest operating system. Um, all these things that you know, aren't as expensive as people think and in many cases are actually free. But basically, a couple of very basic tips. I'd make sure that you're on the website that you think you're on. Um, and when you're typing in personal details, make sure that at the top in the, in the web address, it says HTTPS before the web address, and that there is a, a golden padlock next to that. And that just tells you that that is a secure place to enter personal information. Now, that doesn't need to be on every single page you're surfing on. Just when you're entering personal information, look out for those things. I suppose it's a bit like walking down the high street. You know, there's some shops we know really well and we go into a lot, and there are others that perhaps we haven't been into before. They're new. There's something a bit about them tests our instincts a bit. Is it a similar sort of thing? Yeah, so I think, you know, the, the high street analogy is good. You know, we, we have an instinct when we're on the high street, and that's part of what we're trying to help people develop on the internet. And just keep your wits about you. Don't leave your common sense at the door. You know, it's not, it, it is a place where you still need to use reasonable judgment. If something smells a bit fishy, dig a bit deeper. Try to find a phone number, call someone. Uh, you know, try to, to, to put a face to, what you, to the person you're dealing with. Um, and if you can do that, it just makes things a lot easier, and you can make a decision on whether you to take the risk or not. Back on the streets, the shopping spree's over and it's time to have some fun. But serious partying can bring its own risks. So what's the best way to celebrate and stay safe? I met up with Stephen Gage of the Susie Lamplu Trust. I think the important thing to remember actually is that the date rape drug of choice is alcohol. That's far more likely to be a factor in rapes. The, the main thing to remember actually I think is about planning. Planning your night out and planning your journey home thinking about your journey home before your first drink rather than after your 12th, making sure if you've got uh, friends to let them know when you're, how you're going to get home uh, and when you're going to get home and when to expect you and texting each other to just make sure people are safe is always important. Getting yourself home in a, a licensed taxi rather than an unlicensed illegal taxi is the obvious one. People should be looking out for you know, uh, a proper licensing uh, thing on there and plan booking that at the beginning of the evening rather than at the end. I mean, it turns out that men are twice as likely to be victims of violent crime, uh, and the most at-risk group is 16 to 24-year-old men, just the group of people who think they are invincible, just the group of people who drink far too much on uh, occasions and far li more likely to be victims. It's actually, women need to be worrying not only about themselves, but about their brothers, their husbands, their, their sons, uh, and their boyfriends. So to sum up, when you're at the shops, make sure you know where your bag and wallet are and take particular care at cash machines. Before shopping by computer, check out Get Safe Online for advice. Protect your computer with the appropriate software, follow your instincts and avoid suspicious websites. And if you're out partying, don't drink too much and plan how you're going to get home.
most important of all, stay safe but enjoy the festive season.